What's up guys? Welcome back to episode 3 of the walkthrough. Today we're going to be completely finishing everything here in the Bellu Rat Tower Settlement, however you say it. We're going to be starting off with a small private altar. Altar, not altar. Altar. Kind of a couple of things to get through today. Um, so gonna be taking it pretty quickly. I guess we're gonna have to kill this guy. I didn't really want to. Oh wow, okay. Oh my gosh, I hate this guy so much. Please don't kill me, dude. Cool. Alright. Alright, uh, moving on. Don't worry about these guys here. Guy there, run past him. You know, y'all have already been here. You've already seen all this. I'm just going to kind of be showing you what we're going to be doing first. So. First, we're going to go up here. We are going to turn left. And we are going to go up here. Missed this earlier. This is what we do for the well. White flesh mushroom there. Get the key here. Also, another thing I missed. Don't know how I missed it earlier the other day, but I did. Can you climb up before you get knocked off? Thank you. The other day we missed this just completely went right over it you might be wanting this this is our first shortcut we're actually going to open up that other locked door in a little bit but for right now open up that door and you can come back up Then we are going to run up here, and you can just jump right off of this, and we are going to make our way through this area. Okay. Not a whole lot of, like, interesting, amazing stuff here. This guy right here, you're going to want to go and kill him as quick as possible, or he'll start shooting gook like it spit at you and it does cause poison build up that's quite annoying so go and kill that guy quick kill that one then you can come back over here and get this there's guys in there but I don't think there's anything in there with them there's not two more guys are gonna fly down from here you can honestly just run right past them there's going to be one more up here on your left that you want to dodge past right there. Or he'll grab you and hang on to you and start eating you. If you go quick enough, you should be able to make it up without getting touched by them. And then there are two guys up here that you want to look out for. That guy right there and that guy right there. But if you go quick enough, you should be able to avoid them. And then there is this dude right here. And he is a problem if you don't, you know, if you let him see you. But just don't let him see you. They've already been through all this area. Should remember from the last episode, so just run past it all. And what you're gonna want to do is come here and jump to here, and then jump to here. And then, oh my God, really? Okay. There should be two more. Three more, okay. Oh, why don't I just do this? That makes it easier, huh? One more right here, kill him. Pick up that. And then we are gonna get this. Something that, it's a miracle I even found. Not gonna lie. I, just, I, I ran around here on my other account for forever looking for 
this stuff. And then you're gonna get the dried bou uh, bouquet. Which... I'm not sure what that is. Is it a talisman? I can't remember. I don't think it's a talisman. Uh, what is it? I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm gonna be really honest. I wish I knew. It's not a weapon, is it? I don't know what the dry bouquet is. I have absolutely no idea what it is or what it's used for, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know y'all, I don't see it. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that was it for a second. It's not, though. Alright, anyway, y'all can figure out what it's for and what it is. But that's it here. Now you're going to want to go back to the Billy Rat Tower settlement. And we are going to continue moving on from here. Sorry, I had to look at my phone for a second. All right, so this is open, awesome, and now we're gonna go work on opening that door behind us. And if you're wondering what that key is used for, you're fixing to know in about three seconds. Drop down here, do not jump. You have to use the ladder. The drop is long enough that it will kill you. So hit the ladder. And the key that we picked up is for this. And now from here, let me look at my notes. Let's see. Jump off the edge, kill the bugs, get into the sewer, open the door, and go right. Okay. Drop it on the ground. Put it in a spot where I can see it. Alright, so open the door, and we're going to move right. Now this is poisonous. If you don't have flame cleanse me, you're prob you might want it. You can run past these buggers for now. We're just gonna go right this way. And climb right up this. If I can get on it. Thank you. And that'll open up that door. Alright. Do that. Give it all down. I'll come over here, grab the white flesh. White flesh mushroom, not white flesh. Sorry, y'all. Cool. And then we are going to go this way. There should be some not resin. Up there, I could not figure out a way to get on top of that building. There's just some bugs over there. So we're just going to move on past that. And we're going to come over here and kill this omen. What he's guarding, not important. It's what he drops that you want. So it actually is worth to kill this guy. I know what you're thinking. Like, you know, I could just run past this guy and never fight him. But trust me, you want to fight him. He's honestly the easiest omen warrior we've fought so far. Like, without a doubt. Still will kill you though. Oh come on! Does that re shot really not hit? Are you joking me? Can we please hit him and kill him? Thank you. Why does it keep locking me on to them? That's what you wanted—the Orn Warrior Sword. 
Made it a lot harder than it needed to be. But anyway. Come this way. We're going to go up on top of this building and get what that is. But kill these guys first because they will swarm you. If you don't have that spell, this could be a little bit harder for you. Oh my gosh. That's the spit thing I was talking about earlier. It's so annoying. Are you joking me? Okay. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse myself. So we got a little bit of a decent run coming up. Alright, next. Uh, the omen, sword, liver. Okay, up the tower now. So now we're gonna go run over here. And well, do I have enough healing for this? I should have enough healing for this. If you don't have enough healing, we are fixing to fight a boss. It's um, it's a poison version of those um, like uh, not the not the not the Erd tree guardians. The uh, the other things are like the tree worms that they drop the golden seeds. Uh, they're like at the end of some dungeons down in like ruins. Uh, you know they like and they breathe like golden fire. Can't remember what they're called though, but it's it's one of those. So if you don't have enough healing for this, uh, then go, then just go back and rest right here, and then walk down that. You can stand right here. He's not gonna see you. He's not gonna aggro onto you. So stand right here. You know, get all your um, get all your stuff on. Summon your summons, all that stuff. And he's really not that that difficult. He's not that bad at all. So you should be chilling. Alright, let's run in again. That hits me? There's no way. Oh, come on, dude. Dodge. I press dodge and he won't get out of his freaking run animation. Oh, I didn't mean to pop that. That's not what I wanted to pop. I wanted to pop this. And I wanted to heal. Yeah, when you see him do that, uh, get away. Flame cleanse me. Real quick, while I'm far away, cool. He kind of moves around a lot. Oh, get away, get away, get away. Crap. I didn't think he did that twice. Last time he did not do that twice. Come on, dude. Alone. Crap, I'm gonna lose my mimic tier if I don't get close enough to the boss. Okay, that worked out good. Yeah, get the tier. That are you serious, dude? I just happen to be standing right where he finishes that move set at. Okay, I'm not gonna have enough healing for this. This is going awful. My last fight did not go near as bad as this. Just can't get locked in on it. Oh, swarm flies, gas. There we go. Yeah, the mimic tier pretty much did all the work there. Um, but you know that's what a summon's for. So immunizing horn charm, that's what you get. Um, top, top flame cleanse me. If you don't have flame cleanse me, you might want to get that. And then run around and pick up all this good stuff. And that's it for this well area. You have finished the well area, at least as far as I can tell couldn't find anything else so from here we are gonna run over to the scorched ruins that's what we're gonna head to next and turn right right here and we're gonna just pick up some interesting things 
lot of stuff over here. Don't get off your horse, just run right past it, and you can jump right down here, and you'll be perfectly fine. Then from here, we are gonna run into here and find our first painting of the DLC. Then we're gonna go back up to the main gate cross. And from here, we are gonna go down this way. We're finally gonna go up into this area. And there's actually a good bit of stuff over here that we need to pick up. Definitely worth coming this way. Just don't fall off the edge. I just gotta figure out where I'm at. Okay, here we go. Some dogs and stuff here. Just be careful. Don't let them knock you off the edge. Get that smithing stone. There's some bats over here, but honestly, you can just run past them. Because there's a grace right up here we're going to rest at. And that'll get them unaggroed onto you. So you can just run right on past them and get up here to this grace. This is the cliffside grace. Just barely made that. Let's go ahead and use this. I don't can't remember exactly where we got that from, but we got it from somewhere. Oh, I don't remember where we got it from now. Never mind. All right, um, from here, we got a couple of things to pick up. We are going to run nothing that way. I checked, could not find anything. You're welcome to go look for yourself, see if I missed anything, but it looked like just a dead end. We're going to come here and pick up some revered spirit ashes. I looked at this lake for like five or ten minutes looking for bubbles, looking for something moving around. I killed the turtles. I tried everything. It just doesn't seem to have any significance, even though it's shown very clearly on the map. I don't know what the significance is. I feel like there's got to be something, but I can't figure out what it is. Um, if you want to know, this is where we killed the very first boss we fought, the Black Ghoul Knight. So that's kind of, you know, getting your bearings. That's the fire giant thing we've still yet to kill. But yeah, can't couldn't figure anything out with that water. If you want to sit here and try to do something else and figure it out, you know, feel free to. Let us know in the comments if you find anything, but I could not. Right here, smithing stone. Just run right through here real quick. Don't pay any attention to what's going on. Hit the dash back. Oh my God. Okay, you know what? Wow. He can hit me while I'm on the ground? I'm knocked down. Well, what is that? My last run through, I ran through there and I was able to pick them both up, like, on the same run through and right there it didn't give me the option to pick up the one when I ran past the first one it just gave me the option for the smithing stone so that's quite annoying but yeah again don't have to fight them if you don't want to if you want to they're really not that hard dogs uh, one shot them and the other things they I don't know two or three shot them two three four shot them something like that they're not very strong I can show you if you want they kind of made me mad killing me, so I might kill them. As you can see, not that much HP. The dog says at 398, 700, so he's what? 13, 1400 HP, not bad. If you're like a strength build, you can one shot him like I did on my strength build. And then you got these. These things will attack you for some reason. Don't know why. There's a big one there, and he summons lightning if you hit him. Here, I'll show you. A lot of it. There's like three of them throughout here. One there, one that we just passed, and then one down here to our left. Oh, dear lord. There he comes. Okay. Don't hit him unless you want to kill him. They're dangerous. But, um, and nice. you got to be joking me. Holy crap. Holy crap. What is he doing? Holy crap. What in the world? Please heal. Dude, I, can, I don't I don't know what to do here. I'm so I'm I'm like stuck on these rocks and he's just rolling at me. And I can't stay locked on to him. Holy crap. Every time I get close to him, he starts rolling again. What is this? Okay, guys, so kill this kid. Holy crap. What in the world? Not know that was a thing. Yeah, I want to resummon my steed. <laughs> okay, um, 
come over here and grab this. The cookbook. Um, there's something else over here, I think, that we want to grab. I could get unstuck on stuff. Unless there's not. So there's just too much going on right now that I don't even want to look at my notes. So let me see. All right. Painting, Clifford Grace, Revered Spirits, Run Through the Camp for that, Cooking, Cookbook. Uh, okay, there is nothing else over here. All right. Up we go. Everything, every wildlife here will attack you. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, all right, up here for another painting. That's cool. After the painting, we are going to go get the Blessed Dew Talisman. Which is down here. You might want to heal up if you're not... Uh, didn't realize I was full HP. I want to heal up. There is a guy down here who will attack you. He's over there somewhere. Um, but if you do what I just did, you could actually dodge that and not have to worry about it. And you're not going to miss anything. So, outsmarted the game, huh? So this is the Blessed Dew Talisman. And we're going to run this way. Pick up the armor here. So you get the O Seeker Knights, Greaves, Gauntlets, Armor, Helm, and you get the Pata, which I don't know what that is. Let's go see. What is the Pata? I need to move all of this to my bank. I need to move everything to my bank that I don't want, that I'm like, it's not, I'm not going to use or is not new, so that when I get new stuff for the DLC, I know what it is. Like, I could have sworn the Pata was going to be a weapon, and I can't, I can't, there it is. Okay, Pata. It's a fist. Okay, that's what it is. It's a fist, it has an impelling thrust, so that's cool. Nothing, nothing really new. You can change out the Ash of War on it, though, which I guess is cool, because a lot of these fists, you can't, except for the Blood Ounce Claws. So, that's cool, I guess. This will actually drop you down here, which is right where we came out. So this just drops you back to where you very first started the DLC. So we're not going to go that way. We're actually going to come back up to here. And I ran through all of this. I don't think I missed anything. Feel free to look for yourself, though. And let's see. What time is it? That took me a lot longer earlier. When I did it myself, but it was also because I was looking for stuff and looking around. Like, that was like an hour and a half worth of stuff. I never thought we'd be able to get through that in, what, how long did that take us? Like 20 minutes? 22, 23 minutes? Is that how long it's been? Wow, so shorter episode here, huh? I guess I could go in there, but I don't want to go in here and, like, not know where stuff is. But I can just make a little double check, run around, make sure I didn't miss something on my other account real quick before we end the video. I guess this is going to be a shorter video. This is kind of just finishing up a lot of the stuff we've already done. You know, we kind of ran through some stuff fairly quickly. I don't know how you get down there. Uh, I would love to know. It's got to be, it's got to have something to do with this, I feel like. Maybe there's like a dungeon or something that takes you down there. Or maybe that's just a completely different area that you don't get to for a while. Because I'd didn't see anything else here. Like, I'm pretty sure I found everything. I'm, like, really, really sure I found everything. Yeah, this, this is just gonna take us back to the church, and that guy that I was telling you about is gonna pop out right there. So, yeah, pretty much found everything. Just crazy. Can that guy get on aggroed on me so I can... Thank you. All right, well, um, I guess that's going to be all for this episode. And what we're going to do next is go up into Prospect Town. Don't know what's up in there. Um, I feel like it's probably not a whole lot of stuff but i wanted to get 
it done and then that'll pretty much mean we've cleared out this whole area here we came through here um, so we cleared out this entire area here we've I've tried my best to clear out this whole area here and then we'll have cleared out all of this up here so we'll kind of have like a big this big chunk done and then that'll just leave us with this castle up here to do and then this road obviously leads somewhere over here that we'll go look for another day and I'm sure this castle comes out somewhere on this side and that's how you get up into these areas so we've done a lot it looks like you're gonna get to this town from back this way so I feel like to get to here you're gonna have to you might can get there through the water that might be possible you might can get there through there but we'll probably hit this first probably be do this and then I'll probably work my way through this castle here and maybe finish it depending on how long it takes on what's going on there but at least you know just find what's in prospect town I feel like this won't be much maybe I don't there might be a boss over here I hope there is I kind of want to fight a boss over there and then work our way through the castle depending on how long it takes either get to the final boss and then fight it the next video or fight the boss like just complete the castle the whole time and the, and the whole day I'm gonna try and do better about looking and trying to find everything in the castle because on this one I kind of missed some areas uh, didn't miss a whole lot but a few things but going back and getting them the video after wasn't a big deal at all um, I don't know sometimes I kind of like finishing the whole castle get my bearings on it and then exploring rather than exploring as I'm going and then you can kind of, I don't know I feel like you can kind of get lost you know, you don't really know which way to go, whereas if you just kind of beeline it the way you think you're supposed to go and you find the final boss, it's like, okay, so I know the main route, everywhere else is kind of side routes, you know, and I don't know, sometimes I, I like doing that better, maybe you guys don't, but um, uh, that's what we did, and it worked out, got everything that I think we needed to get, I don't think I missed anything there, so I'm I'm happy and pleased, hopefully you guys, guys are too, um, I feel like we've gotten a lot accomplished, so just Prospect Town, which I would go in right now. I don't feel like there's a whole lot in there, but I just don't want to be like looking around for 20, 30 minutes and this episode becoming more of, you know, me being like, let me check this spot, let me check this spot, let me do this, because it's, it's it can get boring to watch. I mean, for me it's fun because I'm exploring it all, but I, you know, watching it on YouTube, I'm sure it would be kind of boring. You'd rather me just, you know, boom, boom, this, this, you know, know where everything's at. That's what I would rather do if I was watching a walkthrough. So, um. Yeah, Prospect Town, I completely forgot. There's this little area here that we just kind of beeline through at the beginning. We'll work our way through here. I'm sure there's some chests or something in there. Uh, it looks like there's a road that goes back through here and comes up to here. So we might look for all that first. I might try and finish everything down throughout this area before going into the castle, but I'll see. I feel like this castle is kind of like the next major stepping stone, and I don't want to step too far and leave too much undiscovered because once you step from like here and move forward you know then you're kind of like ah, I don't really want to go back and do this stuff you know where it's like if you just go ahead and do this stuff you're like building your way up to the castle and that's more fun so I might do that get this done run around see what's over here we still haven't even found a dungeon it looks like there might be some type of dungeon or something right here or maybe that's a church uh, I think that's gonna be a church because it looks very similar to what this one looks like on the map so I'm feeling like that might be another church right there this might be some type of like um, ever jail or like an elevator that goes to an underground tunnel system with like some stuff going on this might be something similar to that as well this might be a little uh, dungeon area obviously some type of settlement over here maybe there's something in this area like a boss um, so a lot of stuff going on on the map here a lot of things to look at definitely some stuff going on here I feel like there's probably a chest or two in here with something cool in it so we'll definitely look through all that um, and see what's going on before working our way into the castle uh, but I'll see you guys in the next video I hope you enjoyed and uh, <laughs> good luck good luck on your Elden Ring endeavors good luck getting through everything I hope you guys were able to get through everything smoothly I'm kind of rolling through these first school videos fast so it'll probably be like episode three four five already done before most people have even started watching the walkthrough so once you start watching it if things are more difficult for you because I know I'm pretty over leveled on this character and I'm probably make even against the boss we fought today I didn't fight him well at all I mean I think he hit me with more moves than I dodged you know so somebody who's not as 
not over leveled because I feel like I am probably a little over leveled. They probably expected you to come into the DLC level 130, 40, 50 ish, you know, and I'm level 170 something. So I probably am a little higher level for the DLC than some people. And I feel like that might have made people, you know, I feel like that might make it a little easier for me. But then again, this is also a new game plus for me. So all of these bosses, I think, are new game plus, right? So they're still, they should be upward scaled. But still, you know, if if stuff's a little harder for y'all and I'm moving a little too quick, getting to things a little faster than I should, I know this boss fight up here might have been a little difficult for some people possibly. If you were like level 130 or something, level 140 going into it, I could definitely see how it was difficult. But that's also why I said, you know, watch the videos after it and do some stuff, which I didn't really do a whole lot in this episode. So you might want to go watch the next episode where I go do this and look around and see if I find some boss fights over here. And see if you can get an extra three, four levels before going to here and fighting that boss, you know. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.